it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to show you a different piece of software that I sometimes use. It's called Print Life and it's available from the App Store uh, for Macs and it is principally a scrapbooking app for those who like to do scrapbooks, digital scrapbooks or print scrapbooks, whichever you so wish. But it is worth mentioning because it has an awful lot of extremely good graphics in it. And when I mean a lot, I mean there are several hundred kits in this, which if you bought them individually would cost you an arm and a leg. And each kit has got things like papers and elements and embellishments and so on and so forth. Now, I've used a fair number of card making applications in the past or software packages and most of them have got graphics that are pretty damn awful to be honest they're not they're often not very nice graphics and this particular app um, there is a new version as you can see if you look up here it's coming up to new version I've got version 1.1 something or other and there's a new version out this particular one has got such nice graphics. It's the sort of thing that you would go into your local craft shop and you would buy the papers. Those sort of graphics. The ones that you think, oh, that looks really nice. So I thought I'd show it to you because you can, in fact, use it as uh, graphics in your cutting software because some of them trace quite easily naturally and some of them can be slightly altered to trace a lot easier. I'm going to show you a little bit on that too. Uh, what would you expect to pay for this? I think it's around about the £25 mark, uh, but for what it does, I think that's pretty good value. I mean, I'm still happy with my version 1. Version 2 has got a few extra bells and whistles on it, and I think it's pretty good value for money. No, I am not getting paid or sponsored in any way or form to say this. This is my software. I bought it with my own money. So, what does it have in it? It's got kits in it. And if I click on the kits, you can see all kits comes up. And these are the kits that I have. And this isn't just a single design as it were, this is a whole kit of various bits and pieces that you get with each one. So as you can see, you get papers and backgrounds and things like that and all sorts of bits and pieces. Now, for example, I click on this one. You can see I have word art. So that comes with the kit. I have borders. Only one border in that particular one. Uh, embellishments. So we got flowers and things, and a little, oh, he's cute, little birdie. And we've got ribbons and scallop ribbons. What else have we got in here? Flowers. Yeah, those are just the ones who are still there. There's a journal block. People who do scrapbooking know more about those than I do. Miscellaneous. Um, so you can look for them, if you know what you're actually looking for, you can look under here for your different types. So for example, we have the embellishments. And I'm going to take my birdie, so I'm going to double click on my birdie and he appears on my page. Now if you look at this, this is a really nicely drawn graphic. It's not a cheap and nasty one. So this is the sort of thing that we're used to buying in craft shops with our papers and so on and so forth. Now, regards tracing, most of this is very similar in tone and not all cutting software copes that easily with tonal um, or lack of tonal differences, I should say. So what else can you do in this software that makes this easier? Now, most of us, if we were going to use this, would probably be wanting a print and cut, i.e print the design and then have a cut line around the outside. Okay, so if I click on this and I go to color, there's a tint function on this. And if I whack this right up, hey presto, I can do a really easy 
trace on that. No problem whatsoever. So how would you actually do it? Quite simply, you would duplicate that and then you would simply trace one of them and that would give you your outline and then you can line them up. No problem. Job done. So that is really quite useful, but it does have other things that you can do. It has dimensions, you can alter rotation, colour. The image itself, you can alter the brightness, the contrast, all sorts of things. This has got sort of um, alterations that a lot of photographic packages have. And they're really nice and easy to use. You've got effects too. And you can do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. You can add all sorts of, well, you, you can play around for hours with this. Hours and hours if you want to. Um, what else do we have on here? Transparency, you can alter, you can put shadows in, reflections. We have a reflection. What are we going to do? Yeah, we'll have a reflection, why not? Let's just see what happens. Oh, look, we've got a reflection there. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> He's obviously standing in a puddle of water now. And we can obviously alter the reflection and things like this. So if I was to do that and then select this and go to colour again. Let's see what happens if I put the tint on. Yep, the tint goes on the reflection as well. And obviously reflections being soft edges, you have a bit more of a problem, but you do at least get that there to try and cut if that's what you were going to do. So yeah, really good. You can go for photographs and import things like that. You can put text in and you can have friends on here. <laughs> Not something I do. And you can list your favorites in categories, those things that you use a lot. You can have a grid, you've got rulers, um, you've got the usual things. You can put backgrounds in. I mean, all the papers will work as backgrounds or as an added graphic, depending on what you want to do. And then you can save it. Now, if you save it, it saves in the print life format. But if you go to file export, you get multiple options. You can save it as a PDF or a TIFF a JPEG, or as I usually use, a PNG. Okay, so there we are. As I said, I think it's very good value for money. It does have lots of really good graphics in it, and I think it's a very good addition to Mac users' um, stable <laughs> of apps to have. Okay, I hope you found that useful and interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.